Arch Bridges, a timeless solution for spanning waterways and valleys. Arch bridges have been used for centuries to span waterways, valleys, and other obstacles, and they remain a popular choice for modern bridge construction due to their elegant design and remarkable strength. In this video, we will explore the history of arch bridges, their basic design and construction, and the advantages and disadvantages of this timeless bridge type. What are arch bridges? Arch bridges are a type of bridge structure where the deck, roadway or pathway, is supported by a curved structure, known as an arch. The arch distributes weight to the supports at either end, allowing the bridge to span greater distances without the need for intermediate supports. They are often made of stone or concrete and can be used for pedestrian, vehicular, or railway bridges. Arch bridges are bridges that are designed in the form of a curved arch, spanning a road or a river. The arch transfers the weight of the bridge and its load to its abutments, which are located at either end of the bridge. Arch bridges are known for their strength, stability, and ability to span long distances without intermediate supports. How Arch Bridge Works An arch bridge works through the transfer of weight to its supports, or abutments, located at either end of the bridge. The arch shape of the bridge allows for the distribution of weight and load evenly along the structure, reducing the pressure at any one point. The arch also helps to distribute load from the bridge deck downward and outward to the abutments, where the weight is transferred to the ground. This design allows the arch bridge to span long distances and resist wind, water and seismic forces, making it a popular choice for bridging large rivers and valleys. A Brief History of Arch Bridges The use of arches for bridge construction dates back to ancient times, with examples of Roman arch bridges still standing today. The Romans were master engineers, and they used arches in many of their structures, including aqueducts and bridges, as a means of spanning large distances and resisting the forces of gravity and water. The arch provided a stable structure that could support a heavy load, and it was particularly well suited to the construction of bridges, where the weight of the bridge and its traffic must be transferred to the abutments at either end. In the centuries that followed the fall of the Roman Empire, the use of arches in bridge construction declined, and other bridge types, such as beam bridges and suspension bridges, gained popularity. However, the arch bridge experienced a resurgence in the Middle Ages, as the Gothic style of architecture became popular. Gothic arches were often used in the construction of cathedrals and other religious structures, and their beauty and strength made them a popular choice for bridge construction as well. The Modern Era of Arch Bridges The advent of modern materials, such as steel and concrete, in the 19th and 20th centuries revolutionized bridge construction, and arch bridges once again became a popular choice for new bridges. Steel arch bridges were used to span large distances, and reinforced concrete arch bridges provided a durable and low-maintenance solution for bridge construction. Today, arch bridges continue to be a popular choice for bridge construction, and they are used in a wide range of applications, from pedestrian bridges to highway bridges. The design and construction of arch bridges have evolved over the centuries, but the basic principles remain the same, and the arch continues to provide a strong and stable structure that is well suited to the demands of modern bridge construction. Design and Construction of Arch Bridges The basic design of an arch bridge consists of an arch that spans the distance between the abutments at either end of the bridge, and a deck that carries the traffic. The arch is the key structural component of the bridge, and it is designed to distribute the weight of the bridge and its load evenly along its curved profile, creating a balanced load that can be supported by the abutments. The abutments are the structures that support the arch at either end of the bridge, and they must be designed to withstand the weight of the bridge and its load. The abutments can be made of concrete, masonry, or other materials, and they are often anchored into the ground to provide additional stability. The deck of the bridge is the surface that carries the traffic, 
and it must be designed to withstand the weight of vehicles and pedestrians. The deck may be made of concrete, steel, or a combination of materials, and it is typically supported by beams or trusses that are attached to the arch. The construction of an arch bridge typically begins with the excavation of the abutments and the construction of the foundation. The arch is then built either on site using cast in place concrete or using precast components that are transported to the site and assembled on the bridge. The deck is then added, and the bridge is finished with the addition of guardrails and other safety features. Arch bridges are primarily used to span across valleys, rivers, and other obstacles, allowing for road or railway transportation. The unique arch design allows for the bridge to span longer distances than other bridge types, making it a suitable choice for bridging large bodies of water or deep valleys. Additionally, the arch design of the bridge provides stability and strength, making it suitable for carrying heavy loads and traffic. Arch bridges are also commonly used for pedestrian and bicycle crossings, providing a safe and aesthetic crossing option for non-motorized transportation. Arch bridges are used for a variety of purposes, including 1. Spanning rivers and valleys. Arch bridges are well suited for spanning large bodies of water and valleys, as they can span long distances without the need for intermediate supports. 2. Road bridges. Arch bridges are commonly used as road bridges, providing a strong and stable structure for vehicles to cross. 3. Footbridges. Arch bridges can also be designed as footbridges, providing a safe and accessible crossing for pedestrians. 4. Railroad bridges. Arch bridges are sometimes used for railway bridges, as they can provide a clear span for trains to pass. 5. Ornamental purposes. Arch bridges can also be used for ornamental purposes, adding a decorative element to a park, garden, or other public space. Here are some well-known examples of arch bridges. 1. Roman aqueducts. Some of the earliest examples of arch bridges can be found in the Roman aqueducts, which were used to carry water over long distances. 2. The Great Stone Bridge, Russia. This bridge is one of the largest stone arch bridges in the world and spans the Volga River near Yaroslavl, Russia. 3. The Sydney Harbour Bridge, Australia. The Sydney Harbour Bridge is one of the most iconic arch bridges in the world, connecting the central business district of Sydney to the North Shore. 4. The Pont du Gard, France. The Pont du Gard is an ancient Roman aqueduct bridge that crosses the Gardon River near Nîmes, France. 5. The Rialto Bridge, Venice, Italy. The Rialto Bridge is a stone arch bridge spanning the Grand Canal in Venice, Italy. 6. The Brooklyn Bridge, New York, USA. The Brooklyn Bridge is a suspension arch hybrid bridge that spans the East River and connects Manhattan to Brooklyn. What are the advantages and disadvantages of arch bridges? Advantages of arch bridges 1. Strength and Stability Arch bridges are known for their strength and stability, able to resist wind, water, and seismic forces. 2. Long spans. Arch bridges can span long distances without intermediate supports, making them well suited for bridging large rivers and valleys. 3. Aesthetics. Arch bridges can have an attractive and decorative appearance, adding visual interest to a location. 4. Durability. Arch bridges are typically made from durable materials such as stone, concrete, or steel, making them long-lasting structures. Disadvantages of arch bridges 1. Cost Arch bridges can be more expensive to build than other types of bridges, due to the specialized construction techniques and materials required. 2. Maintenance Arch bridges can require regular maintenance to keep them in good condition, including the cleaning and repainting of steel components. 3. Height Restrictions Arch bridges can have height restrictions, as the clearance under the bridge may not be enough to accommodate large ships or boats. 4. Construction Difficulties Arch bridges can be challenging to construct, requiring specialized equipment and techniques to build the curved arch shape. 
Why are arch bridges so popular? Arch bridges are popular for several reasons, including 1. Strength and stability. Arch bridges are known for their strength and stability, able to resist wind, water, and seismic forces, making them a safe and reliable choice for bridging large distances. 2. Long spans. Arch bridges can span long distances without intermediate supports, making them well suited for bridging large rivers and valleys. 3. Aesthetics. Arch bridges can have an attractive and decorative appearance, adding visual interest to a location. 4. Durability. Arch bridges are typically made from durable materials such as stone, concrete, or steel, making them long-lasting structures. 5. Historical significance. Arch bridges have a long history of use, with some of the earliest examples dating back to ancient Roman times. The popularity of arch bridges has continued throughout history, making them a well-known and well-regarded type of bridge. 6. Versatility. Arch bridges can be designed and built to suit a variety of purposes, including road bridges, foot bridges, railway bridges, and more. What are the components of arches? 1. Crown. The highest point of the arch where the two curves meet. 2. Springing line. The starting point of the arch where it rises from the ground or support. 3. Vissoirs. The individual blocks or segments that make up the arch, typically made from stone, concrete, or steel. 4. Keystone. The central voussoir at the crown of the arch, which is the last stone to be placed and helps to lock the arch into position. 5. Intradus. The inner curve of the arch, facing the bridge deck. 6. Extradus. The outer curve of the arch, facing away from the bridge deck. 7. Abutments. The supports located at either end of the arch bridge, which transfer the weight of the bridge to the ground. 8. Spandrels. The areas between the arch and the bridge deck, often filled with masonry or concrete. How arch bridges are constructed. 1. Design. The first step in constructing an arch bridge is to create a detailed design that takes into account the site conditions, loading requirements, and construction materials. 2. Foundation preparation. The next step is to prepare the foundation for the bridge, including excavating the site, building retaining walls, and installing anchors or footings to support the abutments. 3. Erection of formwork. The formwork for the arch is erected, typically made of steel or wood, and is used to mold the concrete or shape the stone blocks as they are laid. 4. Placement of vissoirs. The individual blocks or segments that make up the arch, known as vissoirs, are placed one at a time, starting from the springing line and working towards the crown. 5. Arch closure. Once the voussoirs are in place, the arch is closed by placing the keystone at the crown of the arch. This helps to lock the arch into position and provide stability to the structure. 6. Deck Construction The next step is to build the deck of the bridge, which can be made from concrete, steel, or other materials. The deck is attached to the arch and abutments to complete the bridge structure. 7. Final Inspection Finally, the bridge is inspected to ensure that it meets all design specifications and safety requirements before being open to traffic. The construction process for an arch bridge can vary depending on the size and complexity of the bridge, the materials used, and the construction techniques employed. However, the basic steps outlined above are common to most arch bridge constructions. Thanks for watching and let us know what do you think.